I mean, I can kill a few more sheep and get that done for food. I'm very sorry about this, Mr. or, or Miss Sheep. I'm not really sure how it works. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out some Miniland, one of those do-what-you-feel kind of games. You want to do some farming? Here's some seeds. Go out and do some farming. You want to go fight some monsters? Grab a sword, head out, knock yourself out, kid. You want to stay home and do some crafting? Great. Chop down a couple of trees, get some resources, do your thing, man. And I always like those kind of games, games that just sort of let me do whatever I feel like doing that day. The twist with Miniland, the little change, the little difference in Miniland, as I understand it, is that we're going to create the world as we go along. So instead of this being a set map or being procedurally generated, we're going to generate it. We're going to be given little biomes and we can kind of place things in the world and then go out and explore them. I have done virtually nothing with Miniland except very briefly check out the tutorial and then immediately remember that's terribly off-brand for me and I blew off the tutorial and just jumped right in. This is a very set demo, as you can see up top, five days. We've got five game days, whatever we do in five game days, that is all we're going to get to do in Miniland. And let me stress, I have no idea what I'm doing. So they're probably going to be a long haul for those five days. And this demo will be available on the next Steam Next Fest, which is in about a week or so as I'm recording this, maybe a couple of weeks in October. So you can check it out yourself there. Then this demo, was sent along as a key from the developers and publishers, so thank you very much to those folks for that, so we can check it out a little bit early. Enough blabbering, why don't we just get straight on with some Miniland? Now see, this is why I blew off the tutorial, and I haven't seen this bit yet, but in the tutorial I had this massive castle I could just wander around in, everything was great, everything was good. This is more like it, I'm starting with basically nothing here. Let me see if I've got anything in storage. I have a watering can, and some radishes. Right. Okay. This is one thing that I do remember from my brief few minutes in the tutorial. The animals want to eat radishes. So if I give them some radishes, if I've got some animals that I have uh, domesticated to a degree, they're going to eat the radishes. Let me see what else is going on around here. I've got a sword, I've got an axe, and I've got a pickaxe, and I've got a goblin up here. Now, contrary to tradition, the goblins are, as I understand, fairly friendly around here. Yeah, you're in fact a trader. So you will trade leather, you will trade coin, great, and wool yarn and more coin. Now, you've got likes. Here's the thing. If I can build up some stuff that you like, you'll hang out and we'll get better deals on the trade. So you like carpenter tables? Hey, who doesn't, man? There's nothing I like more than hanging out on the weekend with Mrs. Dave looking at a carpenter table. Standard wooden floor. You just like wooden floors. A light wooden floor. Wow, you are going to be wicked easy to please. Oh, you do like regal, though. You'd like a regal storage area. Okay, we're going to come back to you, Sparky, because I want to investigate the idea of building my own world as we go along. That's kind of the whole point of this. So if we hit space, I got little biome tiles. So I don't have any pop-ups on these, but obviously we've got sort of an Arctic icy area. We've got a foresty area. This looks like a nice grassland meadow. And we've got another meadow with some rocks in it. Well, let's just start from fundamentals here. If I take this tile and I drag this out to here, boom. We've not only got a little meadow area with a tree, we got an alpaca that I could theoretically, well, either kill or domesticate. I'm kind of 50-50 either way. Let's keep that train rolling. I got one more of those. Why don't I go ahead and put that right there? I don't think I have any limit apart from a numerical limit of how many I've got. And I believe these refresh every day. There we go. That's looking good already. Put that there. And then let's get, what does this guy look like when he's at home? All right. So more of a, I don't know, California Redwoods thing going on. Stick another one of those up there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on the icy Arctic biome for right now because that seems a little adventurous. Now, I'm going to have to eat at some point. I've got little turkey legs down there to remind me that I will starve to death. Do I, do I eat the radishes? Hang on. This is an important question. Uh, this is crafting, right? Okay, so I got to go, well, first of all, go back to the box and get the radishes. 
because they're not in your pocket. So go get some. I, I honestly just need to know if I can eat radishes. I'd prefer not to in the real world. They're not my personal favorite, but we just got to need know if, and you know what? I'll take the watering can if I'm here. Is this what I eat with? Can I put this? I want to put that down there. All right. So I put that up in my little quick slot thing and get rid of that. Now, can I, can I eat a radish? Have I, have I eaten a radish? Can't be placed. Ah, I don't know if I can eat radishes. Oh, you've eaten a radish. You ate my radish. Hang on, I've got a sword that can solve that problem. Well, let's start with some fundamentals while I potentially starve to death. Let's chop down a tree. Chopping down, Everyone loves chopping down trees. Chopping down trees is great. We'll get something out of this. I've got a whole bunch of stuff out of that, actually. What do we get? A spruce cone and a dark log. All right, well, that's obviously going to make some planks or something like that. Let's do another one. Sorry if this was your tree. Mr. Goblin, I, I kind of need the resources. It's basically a crafting game. What workbenches do I actually have here? I've got hand, cra no, crafting. Ah, here we go. A chest, a ladder, a tool table. Cool. What is this one over here? This is, ah, here we go. This looks more like a carpentry kind of thing here. So we've got wooden floors, which the goblins love. We've got dark wooden fences. I wonder if I just sort of block in the goats and then they belong to me. Is that how is that how goats work? Well, let's make something ideally food-based. Why is there a glowing thing here? Can I have that? What is that? Can I make that belong to me? I don't know what this little blue hovering thing is here. Um, I'm going to go randomly kill an animal because I'm actually scared I'm going to starve to death. So I'm very sorry, Mr. Sheep, and I'm very sorry to the goblin if this was your sheep. Don't get in the way, by the way. Friendly fire. What do we, uh, what did I get out of that? Hopefully meat. Ah, raw mutton. Okay, great, cool. That's got to be a way that I get food. Torches. I'm looking for a campfire of sorts. If I put, I don't want to eat raw meat, but if I put this in place of the radish and then I try and eat that, can I, can I eat that? Okay, that does work. And I can actually eat radishes. I'm not thrilled about that, but I can. I was just totally misclicking. So, all right. Food? Food has been conquered. I can eat raw mutton. It's probably not very good for me. A diet of raw mutton and um, radishes. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, but this is what we're eating right now. Now, what else could I be doing around here? I'd like to make some stuff if we could. Well, I got a bunch of logs from those trees. I'm just going to store some things I don't think I need right at this second. Uh, acorns, which apparently ostriches will eat. What can I make? with the wood that I just accumulated there. I can obviously make some planks. So let's go ahead and make all of those. Uh, how many of those do I have? Oh, quite a few. All right, so I've got, uh, what is that, 16 planks? Great, cool. Let's make some of these too and get rid of all of that. Now, what can I do? Wooden floors, wooden walls, wooden fences. How about if we did a wooden wall like this? Just make all the wooden walls. Now, if I put that up in here, it's also pitch black out now. I should have... Well, you know what, Dave? You can make a torch. Not right now. You don't have the ingredients for it. But why are you in my house? Excuse you. This is not your... I know you love wood floors. Hey, man, we all love wood floors. But seriously, man, chill. Now, how do we, how do, we do this? Aha! If I go here, will it go right over the tree? Nope, I've got to chop down the tree. Can do. Wall there, wall there. How many more of these do I have? Just the one. Well, actually, it would be kind of silly to put it over there. I'd kind of box myself in. Let's put one right there, just for putting it there. I just want to make things. Okay, should I go to bed? I mean, my health isn't suffering. Can I just go all night? I mean, I can kill a few more sheep and get that done for food. I'm very sorry about this, Mr. or, or Miss Sheep. I'm not really sure how it works. Okay, goblin dude's getting a little creepy watching me walk around killing a bunch of sheep. Just saying. Um, I don't actually need the food, but let me just get that down. There we go. A little bit top off on that. What's my next move here? What could I realistically be crafting? The red wooden fence? No, I don't really want to do any of that right now. And remind me what I can make in this one. Okay, right. The tool table... Yeah, that would probably be the next handy thing to have. The furniture table. Ooh, decoratives. A furnace, copper and tin mix, saddle. All right, that's going to be a little ways off. The only thing I can make right now is just some planks and some sticks. 
Actually, I probably should make some sticks. I think I saw a couple of things that need sticks. All right, sticks accumulated. Oh, and I'm just seeing now, I better get that tool table up sooner rather than later. These things degrade very quickly. My stone axe is almost done, and my stone sword is almost completely done. All right, well, what does it take for me to do? Not that one. What does it take for me to do the, uh, the old tool table there? That is... Oh, I can do it right now. All right, well, make me one of those then. Fantastic. Get out of that. Let's just put that right down. I don't know, here. That'll work. Do you, uh, you like tool tables, right? I think you're, you're into that sort of thing. There we go. Copper axe, stone axe, a bucket... What is this? A lasso? Lasso? Never sure. Shears. Okay, so we get some wool off the sheep that I've murdered. Ruby pickaxes. I don't have any rubies right now. Hmm. What's my next logical move? My next logical move. I know I've only got five days in this game, but I would like to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go to bed. Well, early the next morning, and we've got some new tiles. As I understand it, every morning, every day, we're going to get a fresh crop of tiles here that we can work with. So we got kind of a, looks like a desert with trees. I want to put down the things that have the trees, because I need trees for lots and lots of things. That being said, though, I need to do some mining to get some rocks. Uh, this, let's just, I just want to see what this is. Yeah, that's very, very deserty. Ah, you know what? Let's throw down the Arctic one right next to the desert, because that makes sense. And, of course, no day starts out right without some radishes and some raw mutton. Mmm, mmm, good. What do I, uh, oh, I know what I need. I need rocks and stuff. So can I go pickaxe this? Yeah, there we go. Could you stop following me around, please? It's like super creepy, man. Oh, you know what? I'm reading the tool degradation incorrectly. Nobody is surprised by that. But it's not the bar down, it's the bar up. So I've used my axe a lot. That's getting more and more red. And now I'm using my pickaxe. It's starting to get more and more red. I assume when it reaches the top, I will have no more pickaxe. But it's not as bad as I thought. So what can I make? Now that i got some rocks and some sticks and all sorts of cool stuff like that, what can I make in here? I could make a stone axe, a stone pickaxe, or a stone sword. Bronze, or copper rather, is what I'd need for the next batch of things. And I'm going to assume, as I do, that those are probably hardier. They're, they won't degrade as fast, and then we get all the way up to a ruby axe. All right. I don't actually need any of these right now. I think the only logical thing to do is to start chopping down literally everything and finding out what lives in it. So what was that? I got a thing there. What did I get? A cactus, okay, can be grown again, so I can plant these. How does that work? Show me that. Uh, so put this, say, in place of the ice cubes. I'm just holding a bunch of ice cubes in my pocket. What else did I get? A standard log. All right, I put the other seeds into my storage, but just for giggles, I want to try out planting something. So get out of this and then go to this. How does this work? If, can I put this right here? Must be placed on a different ground. All right, so you've got to go back... In the de yeah, you got to go back in the desert biome. Uh, so cactus, don't really need to water that too often, right? That's basically how a cactus works. Also, side note, where do I get water from? How about, can we do it from the ocean? If I put this here and I go to my watering can, can I get... Oh, sorry, I didn't actually mean to put that there. I didn't... Uh, no, sorry, edge of the map is just going to put up whatever the next biome I had queued was. How do we... Uh, how do we get water around here? Do I need to do something odd, like put a furnace up and then put ice cubes in it? I'm off that because I want to figure out how to expand my house, and I realize I don't really know how to do that. Can I chop down? I can. I can chop down my own walls. Good. Uh, let's get all of these out. I wonder if I reclaim those. I'll check my inventory in just a sec. But we're, we're going to do a little bit of an expansion here, and that also means all of these trees have to go nature. I'm sorry, but it's one of those crafting games. Nature just must be destroyed so I can have shiny new toys. I was making some walls and some floors and stuff, and I realized somewhere along the way I got some broccoli. I was just randomly chopping down everything, but somewhere in there broccoli lived. Alpacas love it, allegedly, and I'm not actually opposed to it myself. I'm okay with some broccoli. Uh, none of this is going to match. It's all going to be horribly, horribly mismatched, which will make me nuts. Uh, why can't I put that there? Is it because of the grass? Oh, I can deal with that. You don't even worry about that one. I mean, it's not much, but I'm just basically messing around with the, the build system and kind of seeing how this goes. I can't place that there. Well, that's odd, because over here, the, the walls line up perfectly. 
to the floor, but not here. Weird. I wonder what happens if I take the wall down and put it back. Excuse you! Seriously, dude, you are going to get clipped in the face at any moment. So if I put this wall here... No, it doesn't line up with the floors properly. I see that there's an extra bit of floor over here. Okay, i got to chop down way more trees. Hang on. All right, so heads up, kids. Skeletons come out at night. I slept through last night, but I was doing some crafting here. Oh, yeah, and they're aggro, too. They ain't playing around. Hit you, hit you, hit you. You didn't seem to land a hit on me, which is great. I can't guarantee that's going to kill. Oh, wow. All right, they're all... There's a snowman. Hang on. There's... A, there's. A, can you just all... Can you guys all go away? Uh, no, seriously, like, all go away. I, I need to go investigate the... Oh, yeah. I, they're, they're more trouble. Is the goblin trying to help or hinder me? I'm not... Not real clear on that. Oh, I died. Uh, and they're still here. They're still here, and I have literally nothing. There, I have. What am I holding? I'm holding a rock. Okay, I'm gonna beat up the skeletons with a rock. Uh, oh, and the snowman throws snow at me, and it makes me slow because I'm cold. Um, okay, day two not going as well as day three. Not, not as well. No, no, I'm dead again. Um, can I sleep through the skeleton attack? Can I? Can I just sleep through this? I'm going to try and sleep through this. Okay. Um, what happens in daytime? I'm going to go... Uh, I've, I've still only got a rock. <laughs> no, stop it. I need to check my inventory for anything other than a rock. Yes, I've got new biomes. That I'm going to... You know what? I need the biomes to escape. Oh, they disappeared. They disappeared in the daytime. Uh, great. Good. What was that that I just picked up there? An undead soul. Oh, this, ja this game just got a little bit freaky now, didn't it? The snowman is gone too, but I have nothing left. Can I cut down a tree? I can. Can I cut down a tree with a rock? Apparently I can. I suppose I could in the real world. It would be very, very slow, as indeed this one is. Uh, but I could do it. Okay, let's, let's regroup here. I lost all my flooring that I was so keen on. I think I'd figured out how to make it work too. What have I got here? I got my, uh, where's my tool table? Where's my tool table? Got to get this started all over again. So I could do, I'm going to need sticks and some more. Actually, I probably got the rocks. I just need a couple. There we go. A couple more sticks. Make some extras. So I didn't lose everything at all. It was all in my inventory. It's just when I died, it all moved to my inventory instead of my quick slot. So all I really needed to do with the skeletons was, you know, go into my inventory and re-equip my sword. Okay. All right, let me regroup here. Upon death, everything moves to your inventory, Dave. And then you can re-equip it instead of trying to beat up snowmen with a rock. Other things we've learned. I can sleep through the skeleton attack if it is necessary. Let's put some wool in here. Don't really need any of that. Uh, the broccoli. I don't know if food goes bad in this game. I'm going to tuck that in there and then get rid of anything else I don't need. I think it's probably best I keep the undead soul in storage. I uh, don't know if that's something I want to be carrying around in my pockets. All these cones. Sharp stone I'll leave in there. A red log. We'll probably do some crafting with that. Still got the ice cubes. Sticks. Dark logs. Yeah, keep all of this stuff. Because we're going to do some crafting with that light logs. All right. Back to work here. Oh, actually, I didn't see that. With enough stones, I can make a stone floor. Make me one of those. Just one, because that's all I got the stones for. And then I want to see if I was right about how we make the floor. Yeah, I think if we put it over over here. Are you sure I can't put that over there? Could you please stop following me around, sir? If I put that there, you're telling me I can't put the full or the wall rather on top of it. Give give this back to me. I want to put this right there. That's how it goes. Okay. So floor down first and then walls. I know this is the most minor innocuous part of the game, but it's very, very important to me that I don't have a gap between my wall and my floor. I will do anything else in this game that you'd like me to, but everything has got to match and look right and be aesthetically pleasing. Otherwise, it makes me a little bit nuts. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more snowmen if I do this, but I'm going to set up another little arctic area with some nice trees in it, and then put that guy, say, over there, and then put this one over here. Oh, another goblin. Oh, hang on. What's your deal? Come here. Come here. Are you another... I assume you're another trader. Yeah, what is it? Oh, you're smith again. 
You've got copper and tin and that kind of thing. What do you like? You like stone floors. I've made one of them, Smith. It matches with the wall. It goes where the wall is supposed to go. I hope you like that. Tool tables, you like furnaces, statues. I should get in on that whole torch thing. That'd be a great idea. Except I don't know what the other component is. I assume it's some sort of charcoal or something. Show me the torches. Yeah, one stick and whatever that black rock is. It's got to be charcoal or, I don't know, tar or something. I just don't know where I get it. Do you know where I get that, guys? Well, when in doubt, chop down literally everything. That's how crafting games go. Just destroy everything and something will pop up saying, hey, there's the thing you needed right there. So a little more mild deforestation. I'm also going to kill whatever this raccoon thing is because I will probably need the food reasonably soon. Uh, there we go. You're done. I've well, got some asparagus in there. Let's eat that, and then let's have maybe some broccoli on top of it. I've gone all vegan around here. And then what is what is this floating thing? I don't know what this floating thing is. Can I have that? I can't do anything with it. Oh, I can do a little dance. I can go up and down. That's nice. And my axe is broken. Okay, hopefully I've got enough to make another one. Where's my tool table here? Yep, got just enough to do that. Great, one more axe, please. Thank you very much. Relatively easy to make. It's not a big burden to keep crafting tools. I'm sure the later ones will be more diesel than this. I, what is my next move? And I've got two days left here and I don't want to be awake at night, apparently. Let's make some more stuff. I'd like to actually have some areas where there's some more trees. No, I want, I don't, I don't want to put that there. No, 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 no. Everything is wrong. Do it again. There we go. That's what I wanted to. Put one of those there and one of those there. Now we've got ostriches. Ostriches just popped in. Uh, you know what? Put another one down there. Kind of goes with the deserty area. And then one of these would fit in very nicely. Oh, yeah. That's actually looking good. That it, it, it almost makes sense. It makes no sense next to the snow, but it makes sense in terms of everything. I put another one over there and then I may as well finish it out. I've got the tiles. I may as well make my world bigger. Just for giggles, goblin dude, how does how does trading work here? If I wanted to say, can I have some copper? No, he's too low in satisfaction. Really, even after the stone floor. It's a very, very good stone floor. Yeah, no, I can't do anything with you. Uh, go back to the first dude because you were, uh, you don't like me as much either. No, no. Okay, goblins don't like me enough. I just want to check. I got both. Yeah, it was both of you. Nobody likes me enough to do this, yet you keep following me around. Right, it is nighttime. The skeletons are back, as are many, many aggressive snowmen. There's a lot of aggro snowmen just hovering around down there. We better get distance weapons at some point. I'd like to see a bow somewhere along this line. So what I'm going to do is not leave my house. Unfortunately, the house is wide open, but I was working on crafting some stuff, so I got a ton of these red wood pieces here. So I'm going to make a few of those. None of this is going to match, but I'm going to try to learn to cope with that information. Make a few more of those, and then if I can get like one more floor. Nope, not enough materials. Not enough materials. All right, put the floor up here in place of this, and that can stay right where it is. All right. Um, if I wanted to say, all right, remember, Dave, put the floor down first, which means I should chop down this wall. Uh, nobody come and attack me. I'm working on some reconstruction here. Uh, yep, the snowmen figured out I'm alive. Okay, snowmen, a uh, bit of a problem. Oh, God, what? Something's got a fireball down there. Go to bed. Go to bed. It'll it'll solve nothing at all because they're firebombing my house. The goblins aggro. Uh, everyone's Everyone's sad. Goblins getting fireballed. They're, they're throwing snow and fire at me at the same time. This is a very odd morning I've woken up to. I'm being hit with fire and snow. Uh, one of the goblins is, is, I thought, just died. No, no, there's still two of them. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. And they've disappeared for the night. Okay. Interesting morning. Um, I'm just going to start by killing an alpaca and then eating it. Oh, didn't actually need to do that. I've got asparagus. Sorry, alpaca. I think I actually had other food. Really, really sorry about that kind of a little bit. Um, but I do I do have raw mutton, so I may as well. Very sorry about that, alpaca. I thought I forgot I was vegan for the day. Now, let's get back to some reconstruction around here. I'm just trying to build this place up, and I keep getting attacked by snowmen and skeletons. All right, that's not bad. It doesn't match, but I like that red wood. I'm going to enjoy using that in the future. 
Okay, um, don't put a wall there because I need to put a floor under it first. And what kind of biomes did we get this morning? Oh, we got one of those meadow ones. Good, I like that. I want to, no, 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 no. Stop doing what you're doing right now. Walk over here. We're going to put the meadow one over on this side. In fact, this should be my plan. I should be walking away from the ice area because I could at least get the snowmen out of my life. Although, I think the skeletons may spawn in the meadow one. I, I don't know that, but they seem to all kind of congregate up there. I'm probably just hallucinating that after all these skeleton and snowman attacks. Let's just put some trees up. That's not a tree. There's some trees. There we go. And that might be more asparagus or broccoli. I'm going to keep my desert thing going on down here. I'm kind of digging this. It's making sense. It looks good. Now, get out of all of that. Is that, in fact, broccoli and or asparagus so I can stop killing the local wildlife? I also gathered some snow, which, no surprise, can be melted into water. I think we need the bucket for that. I saw that in the crafting area there. Uh, move the wool out of here. I don't need that. And what is this? A light log. Now that's exactly what I do want right now. So back to the concept of getting some crafting done around here. Got a bunch of dark planks. So I could make a workbench. I already got one of them. Make a bunch of these and a bunch of these. And what do you think I can make? A sharp stone. I sure could. Let's go back to carpentry though. I want more floors. Oh, I'm out of wood. I want more floors and I want more walls. What about doors? How do, how do doors work? Oh, there it is. A light wooden door and a dark wooden door. Well, apparently I have enough materials to do that, so I'm going to make that. And actually, I still got enough to make a little bit more flooring. Okay, now back to work on the house because that's obviously the most important part of this game. So go to this and go to... Let's put my flooring up here. Oh, it only stacks at five. That's fine. I'll put the tools back eventually. I probably won't. I'll forget to do that. Put that there and put this guy up here. All right. None of this. It's all going to be a hodgepodge, but we'll make it work. I may have accidentally buried a goblin in the wall there. Very, very sorry about that. Not my intention, but you were just kind of standing there during construction. You should have expected these things. Now, how do doors work? Oh, just like that. That was easy. Great. My base is now secure again. A complete mismatch of colors, but it's secure. I mean, I can close the door. Yeah, I can open and close the door. Excellent. Well, now I'm feeling a little bit better about the upcoming skeleton slash Iceman attacks. Also, like, really eat some asparagus very, very quickly because I'm about to starve to death. That was a lot of asparagus I just chowed down on there. Time for some more rocks and resources and basic stuff here. Could you guys stay out of my house? I just put a lot of work into that. I died several times to make that house happen. So I'd appreciate it if you can keep your goblin faces out of there. Yeah, food situation is looking a little dire. Thank God I've got my emergency broccoli in here. Do I have any other food? No, undead soul. Probably don't eat that. Got some snow. Can do something with that. Actually, where's my other snow? That, that was my other snow. Uh, put the broccoli up there. I've just been making a bunch of, you know, floors and planks and all sorts of stuff. So eat my broccoli. Great. Night has come on. Skeletons are outside. Snowmen are outside. Uh, whatever that is is outside. That's what was throwing fireballs at me. Oh, that guy ain't no fun at all. He's going to wreck my house. I'm going to, um, oh, there's more of them. If I go out here, I'm dead. I'm one, he's trashing my house. I better get turrets in this game. No, oh, if I, oh, he ruined my wall. He broke my wall. I can't, oh no, he's broken my house. Uh, go to bed. That solves everything. Just go to bed. Try to ignore the fireballs that are coming in the house. Just sleep it off, man. Sleep it off. Goblins, this is all you. I'm mostly just hanging out here until they sort of go away, which they seem to do in the morning. No, run away from a fireball. Wow, I am really quick. I can run away from a fireball. I'm going to try and basically hit you. I, I am so going to die here. Are they gone? I think they're gone. Oh, they totally wrecked my house. Oh, they took down that bit of wall there. I need better defenses. Like, stat. What did I make? I made some light wooden walls, and I've got some red planks that I could get down with. Okay. Um, I need, like, layers of walls. This is what I'm thinking. Layers of walls. And then, I don't know, I'll leave space for a door there or something. Uh, put that there. That's about all I'm going to get. Ah, I should have put the floors down first. Sorry, I'm thinking primarily about defenses, Mr. Goblin, not about your little trading expedition. Uh, there's still a snowman down there. There, There's... I thought you guys were going to go away. Do you not... I'm going to go try and hit you with an axe. Or sword, rather. 
Axe probably won't do the job. Um, okay, dodge and hit and hit. Okay, I can kind of cope with you a little bit. Uh, sort of. It's kind of working. Yep, and oh, all right, didn't dodge that one, and now I'm slow. So if I can just dodge their little thing, then I'm going to be fine. Can't say I can do that forever, though. Nope, clearly I cannot. Clearly. Ah, gotcha. Alrighty. Well, I've dealt with that. Job done me. And to celebrate, I'm going to kill a few goats because I'm about to starve to death. Um, can I, just for argument's sake, and, and this will be an argument because it's probably going to start a fight. Can I kill the goblins? Yep, sure can. All right, don't want goblins infesting your property? Just take them out. Didn't even really fight back. Uh, two, two goats at once. Here we go. Two, two goats at once. And possibly a goblin if he gets in the way. Grab the sheep as well, because I, I'm very sorry, sheep. It's just that I'm starving. I'm really starving. Like, I'm going to start losing health soon, I imagine. Uh, get all the food that I... Oh, wow, that was not nearly as much food as I thought it was. Uh, put this in here. Put that over there. Eat literally everything. Uh, so go to, yes, all all the mutton, please. Raw mutton. Mmm, mmm, good. Can I make any kind of stove? I was looking for a campfire, but I didn't see one. Let me just go through the hole in my wall here. Uh, would that be... It's probably in a different bench, right? It's probably something else. Tools, carpenter, furniture. Copper and tin mix. Yep, saddle. Got it. Rope. Trying to see something that says, here's where you cook things. A ladder. Why do I need a ladder? Can we go up and down in this game? Are there multiple levels? I didn't think there were, but, you know, we got a ladder. It must be good for something. I'm going to make, if I can, the furniture table. Just because I can, for a start. And this is my last day anyway, so I may as well make it. Let's put that over there. What exactly is it that you do here, Sparky? A bed, great. Lamp, nice. Flower pot, banner, table, good. At least I see some decoratives here. Stone statue, ice statue, goblin bed. All right, so I could kind of do a Kepler thing and make little rooms for these people, and then they'd hang out and like me more. Statues and more lamps. How do I go about cooking food? Well, gee, Dave, you probably should have stuck with the tutorial. The answer was probably there, but no, no, no. We're just going to kill alpacas until... I'm, I'm satiated, frankly, of both hunger and bloodlust. It is, of course, a new day. Got some new biomes here. What if we put up a big rock one? No, 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 don't do that. Go right up to the edge here. What if we put up the big rock one, like right here? Well, that's a lot of rocks. It's probably good mining there. Oh, another goblin to make up for the one that I, well, killed just to see if I could kill him. And there's more alpacas that I can eat later. All good stuff. Put the meadow one back. There's sheep. That's food. And let's put, I'm going to put a, I, I know about the snowmen, but I'm going to put another arctic one up over there. All right. That's probably good for now. Uh, you obviously don't like me yet, right? No, you completely don't like me. What is it that you like? Uh, well, you have undead souls. So do I. Now, is that you'll trade me or I'll trade you? Will you give me money for dead souls, or am I giving you money to get some extras? You like statues, ice statues, stone statues. You like red wooden walls. I've got a bunch of those. I have several of those, but I don't think you'll do anything until I have a goblin bed. It is. It has obviously become very Kepler-like. i got to make somewhere for them to stay, and then they'll like it more. If nothing else, it'll probably stop them wandering into my house all the time. Okay, coming up on the end of day five which means fireball guys are going to be back and trash my house again. Is there anything quickly I can do in the meantime? And the answer to that is you darn well better eat because you're about to die. Oh, I found coal somewhere in there. I have no idea where I got that from. Just randomly chopping things down and destroying things. Maybe I got it from a mining thing or something. There's coal. That means I can craft a torch. Probably don't really need to right now, but at least I know I can accumulate it somewhere. Uh, what was my plan? Oh, right. Killing the local wildlife and eating them. I'm very, very sorry about this. I genuinely mean that I, under normal circumstances, I would not kill you and eat you. It's just that I got to eat and your food and I can sort of magically create you every morning. So, um, you know, this is happening. Boy, the hunger does tick down very, very quickly. I just ate four. Wow. There's goes another half point right there. Yeah, the hunger just shoots right down. I wonder if that's a reflection of my health, which is not top-notch, or 
the fact that I'm eating just terrible food, I'm eating raw food, it's probably not very good for me. And that's probably why my hunger is shooting down. I bet if I can get into some cooked food, that'll satiate my hunger a lot more. I don't know that for a fact, but... You know, that's just kind of how games work. All right, anything else I can put up here that will allow me to eat some animals because I'm running out of animals. <laughs> nothing in there. Ah, sheep, good, fantastic, your dinner. Uh, oh dear, nothing in there. All right, well, it was worth a shot. Uh, there won't be anything in this except snowmen, but there it is. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to apologize in advance again, but I really need anything at all to eat, and you are technically food. I know, the vegan thing didn't last very long. I seem to be a little shy on vegetables around here. I don't immediately see any. What is that over there? What, what is this thing? No, no, not that. Go to the axe. What is this? That? Oh, it's a radish. Okay, we're back to vegan, temporarily. And the radishes actually fill up a little bit more hunger than the raw mutton do. So, you know, good to get those veggies in. What is it? Four servings? Something like that? Fruit and veggies? I don't immediately remember. How's the cactus farm doing? Oh, cactuses are there. I'm just basically waiting to get killed. Yep, there they are. Okay, we've got skeletons. We've got snowmen. Oh, God, there's one right behind me. Right behind me. Right behind me. Goblin, I swear to God, man, get out of my way. If you die, it's not my fault on that one. Oh, wow, so many skeletons. So, so many skeletons. Where's those fireball guys? There's one right there. Right down there. I see you coming to destroy my house. I'm going to lead a suicide charge here. Kamikaze, charge of the light brigade. We're going in hard. This is it. Take him out. I did get him, actually. And I'm not completely dead. Uh, you, you die. You, you go away. Well, you're already dead. Technically, you're already dead. You are, in fact, a skeleton. I'm dead now, too. Yeah, they're swarming me. There's just so many skeletons around the house right now. They're walking right in because the other guy destroyed the walls. I think at day five and no possibility of escaping this undead horde, that is probably an excellent place to call it on the demo for Miniland. Guys, do please let the comments come in. Let me know what you're thinking of Miniland. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not, not quickly, anyway. Not until I saw some more reviews on the place, and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.